welcome back to another Tech Tip Thursday. Today we're going to talk about tires. What all those numbers and letters on the side of your tires actually mean. There is more to choosing a tire than just how big they are and what style tread you want. Let's take a look at a tire right now. The first one we're going to look at is, is a metric tire. So this is an LT28575 R16 tire. We're going to break down to you what that means in this chart here. So the first part, LT, that's your tire classification. In this case, LT stands for light truck. You also have P, which can stand for passenger car. ST, which can stand for special trailer. And there's also another one that I don't have written on this chart, and that's a T classification. That's temporary. It would be like your donuts and whatnot that you would find in a trunk of your Honda. We're not going to deal too much with that, and our Jeeps are a little bit too small for us. The second part is 285, uh, tread width measured in, in millimeters. And the third part, well, that's just a slash line, you know, just goes in between everything. Uh, third part, though, is 75, and that's your sidewall aspect ratio. Basically, 75 is, it means that this tire, the, the sidewall height, is 75% of the width of the tread. So this particular case, the height would be... 75% of 285 millimeters. Next up is R, tire construction. Most people think that it means rim. In this case, it means radial. Or you could have D, of which is bias ply. Now, the 16 is actually the rim size. So you could have 14, 15, 16, 16, 5. Just make sure that you mount your tire on a proper rim size. You can't put a 16 inch tire on a 16.5 inch rim. It, uh, or vice versa, you can't put a 16.5 inch tire on a 16 inch rim. It, it just won't work. It'll be unsafe. It'll come right off the rim. Um, the next little bunch of numbers are kind of confusing. So on this tire, we have your 285-75R16. Then alongside it, we have this 10PR126-123Q. That is your metric weight and speed rating. So the, your Q is actually your speed rating, and you can look up online what each letter means. The higher the letter, the faster the speed rating is. Um, 10 PR is 10 ply. And then the 126, 123 have different classifications in the actual weight. Uh, also written on the tire is it's a low range A, which it stands for. It's, a, again, a 10 ply tire, and will give you the weight rating. This tire is measured in inches. This one is a 35 by 1250 R17 LT. We're going to break that down for you up here. All right, so the first is 35. That's just your tire diameter or tire height. It's 35 inches in diameter, 35 inches tall. Next up is 1250. Tread measured in inches. Next up is R, and that's tire construction or radial and D where you can have a D and it's by supply. Next up is 17 and that's rim diameter. All right, then we get into LT, which just like on the other tire, stands for light truck. That is your, your tire classification. Again, you have your P, your ST, and your T. Um, the next is the 119. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna look at this tire again. And you'll see we got your 35, 1250, R17, LT, 119Q, and s So the 119 is just, again, on the other side, that's uh, uh, just like on the other tire, that is your weight rating. Um, then your next is your speed rating. Q is your speed rating. M plus S, or M and S, is just mud and snow. Um, now we're going to look at this also on the tire. Here, you'll see you have your max load and max inflation. Let's talk about that for a second. Max load is at max inflation. In this case, 3,750 3, pounds at 80 PSI. Now, that's only if the vehicle is rated for that weight. You're not going to put 3,000 pounds on each corner of a Toyota Prius. This is more rated for something like a, a, a one-ton pickup truck or something like that. Um, now, you will n you never, ever exceed the GVW 
or axle weight rating no matter what the tire says it can handle because the axles and the suspension of the vehicle just couldn't handle it. Refer to the vehicle's specs for proper information. What is on tire is max pressure, not the recommended pressure. Most cars, you'll be able to look on the door and it'll tell you, or if it's not on the door, it could be written in your glove box, it'll definitely be written in your, your uh, owner's manual. So most cars will say 32 to 35 PSI. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, Jeep, Jeep on. on.